I took a hit of water. Stiffen those edges. Get them edges strong. The braiders are cheap. This is one bunkitated rock here. Shape-wise. Oh well. Sometimes you got to turn them edges way over. Even if you don't want to. You're like, no, that's the wrong direction. Well, you got to do what you got to do. Shouldn't I use a smaller tool? Yeah. Yep. Ah, you didn't see that. Achieve some thinning. Another thin dang edge on a cortex area. Get rid of that sucker. So I hit that that that, that way because I kind of got a ridge there, but over here I got more of a ridge this way, so. That still, this is too low and it's too thin. And so I'm gonna cheat. How did he cheat, Grandpa? I don't remember, son, that was 2015. <laughs> the reason I'm gonna cheat is cause this is too low. This will make just a little thin skatey flake like this. So what I try and do is hit over here and come in through here and hope that the thing fans and undercuts that crap and does all kinds of good things. And it tried and it kind of came up, but it did help. You know, it went in pretty flat and it did help. So that was not my worst hit of the day. I'm always a little bit ambivalent about getting the ends too thin and narrow and breakable, but on the other hand, you do need weight off of them and you don't really want to try and do that at the end, for sure. Flat. Fairly flat. Fairly flat. Yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas. Today. 
sure hope this is all on screen. If it ain't, then you probably went to sleep 20 minutes ago. Okay, this is a terrible platform. <laughs> See? See this terrible platform? And it's like a delta, really. It worked. I just were doing a little blender into there. I need to do something drastically quick, though, with some of this over here. I don't know what to do. See, my gimmick for this particular video was I was just going to use this one ginormous bopper and just, just do something with this rock here. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, man, that would be a great shot with giant indirect. I could do some stuff. This is all chalky and I'm trying to get it off because I was really sort of wanting to hit there. It's like a boomerang, like a paleo boomerang. Hey oh, mate, have you seen my paleo boomerang? You can go out and hunt some wallabies. Put them on the bobby. If you're a vegetation, I, a vegetarian, I, uh, if you're a vegetation, that's pretty good, I don't like that. If you're a vegetarian, I apologize for all this humor because, you know, I realize that animals or people too. I'm not trying to start a beef with anybody. Oh my god, I don't believe I said that. That was an accident right there. Okay. That's two days in a row I've heard, heard sirens over there. I think somebody running radar or something by the swimming pool. Okay, all these are failing. That one didn't. Ooh, that's a big, ugly piece of concrete. Um, anyway, so what was I talking about? Nothing important. I'm Batman! Oh. I'm just trying to be a little bit more amusing because I was funny when I was younger kind of, I think, and uh, you know, I think guys like, when we get old, we get this frontal lobe atrophy stuff going on and we just get grouchy. I've been feeling grouchy lately. I don't know if it's something in the air. We've got this, we've got this Saharan dust. Texas is covered in dust from Africa. No, I'm not kidding. Because when my eyes start burning and I can't breathe, I look up the AQI, the Air Quality Index. Wait a minute, I'm not teaching you about flint napping, I'm talking about air quality. What is wrong with me? 
No, it was in that water. Good thing that edge wasn't sharp. Yeah, this banana is bizarre. This is a bizarre banana. Now don't try that at home, okay? Because I didn't have either ear supported. You saw I just grabbed it like this. So this should have fallen off and that should have fallen off. The only reason it didn't is because of the angle. That's the only reason. The angle was straight inward. I mean, that's flat. Therefore, it's like I'm hitting through the thing with it like this, and there was no, there was no vibratory, oscillatory, Batman-ishes floppiness at all. If there had been even a smidgen, it probably would have canceled Christmas and been a bad thing. Of course, I was willing to take that risk because if it had happened, I could have said, well, sorry folks, and turned this off and run inside where it's cool and there isn't a bunch of African dust and the wallabies running around trying to get me. I wonder if I can get away with that again. What do you think? What are the odds? Here we go. Crazy. Crazy the things you can get away with sometimes. Well. Okay, now I'm putting this end down there, holding this end up here, and I'm trying to take a dink thing off there with this big old sucker. And I did. Ha! Isn't the right angle great? You can get away with moita. That was kind of like my Bugs Bunny impression when I was a kid I watched Bugs Bunny too much. And uh, you, know, you get all these weird thoughts about everything from Bugs Bunny. When you're down in Texas, I don't know where Bugs is from. But he sounded different. You do need to hit your spot, okay? Hit your spot. Don't don't be just titting wherever. When you want to use a big tool for a little test, okay, I'm resting this down here. And I got my hand along back there, and I got my fingers out here. Because I'm trying to do some stuff on this right end. See that little bitty hit? Across to thin it. That little hit? See, this is below this side, so I'm thinning right in here. And this should, and this should be extremely dangerous because when I'm using this, it's not fast. So therefore, it's, it's potentially a lot shockier on this, on this piece that I'm hitting but because the angle's right and all the support, we didn't hurt anything. So, I mean, look, you gotta, you gotta understand what I'm doing here. I'm not suggesting that you do anything like this, okay? That's not the point. What I'm suggesting is that 
I'm more or less proving the point that when you get the angle exactly right, in addition to achieving whatever goal you had with thinning or whatever, you also achieve a much lower failure rate as far as breakage goes. See, I like it better when I'm working on this end because then I can stick this down here and hold this out here and work off my leg and it works fine. The hard part is when you're trying to work near this end of a long piece and you've got to, you know, lay it on your leg or do whatever and try and hit and the main reason it's difficult is because the uh, angles that you have to use to hit are not your normal angles. So you have trouble feeling comfortable and swinging right. Like I stepped that one out right there and it would have been great to cut through there, but because I'm swinging abnormally, it's harder to do my usual stuff and blast across there. I'm still working on the ends. See, this is easy. Oh, now notice I'm hitting down. And you're like, well, crap, he's hitting down. Well, yeah, but, I, but I'm hitting into my finger, so ain't no vibration. I mean, I'm picking up good vibrations, but Ah, uh, did you see what I did there? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you're young, then you don't see what I did there, but... <laughs> What'd you get for being young? <laughs> this isn't working. I can't do that. How am I going to do this? I'm going to have to try and pressure flake with this bopper before it's over with to try and get, get my goals met. See, I'm stepping all that, but I figure, well, I'll get it from over here. That's right at the center line, so that's a little bit deadly, but... Sometimes you've got to take a chance or three. Uh, hitting here will step it into there probably, but then again, it might do a little bit of good before it steps it into there. But probably not. underneath it, turning it over, right back. <laughs> 